Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza, and we're at the 2023 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. And we're actually in the General RV booth, the Coachman, right? Yes, and uh, we've got Nick. Nick, what's up, man? How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. So you guys, I think, uh, what is it, Lola? Like two years ago at this point yeah. yeah we did a cross trail video Absolutely. that's uh, actually pretty big so this is a follow-up and I think the guys at Coachman actually have a brand new kind of floor plan here that's very different from what we saw before right absolutely yeah, yeah. what's that model called over there so the one we previously did was the 20 XG okay with the extreme package so oh, okay. the lift kit right. the big black wheels black rims brush car on the front mm -hmm. upgraded uh, striping package as well mm -hmm. so okay so and then this one's a 20 bh we're going to give you guys all the details we're going to walk around it go inside of it all that kind of good stuff let's get into it right now hey everyone a new vanasaur t-shirt design is out just in time for the winter season it's called winter camping fun even here in the sunshine state it feels a lot like winter if you're a fan of outdoor life then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is follow the link here on youtube just below the video description to the stranger palooza store where you will find this winter camping fun design and other fun cool Stranger Palooza gear. All right, so Nick is a first timer. I'm gonna try to go easy on him, try to ease him into this one. So thanks for doing this, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Thanks yeah, I appreciate it time. too. Yeah, so let's start with, um, this is how it comes, right? Yes, sir. So this okay. will be the standard package here. Right. Uh, you get the blue striping, you get the 4,000 silver uh, laminated sidewalls mm -hmm. uh, with lamin lux there. Okay. Um, you get the Thule armless awning, and mm -hmm. then some electrical ports on the outside. You get the dog leash holder out there. Oh, is that what th this yes, is sir, down yeah. here? Dog okay. Leash and that's the, the there's the coachman mascot right yep. there. A little fine so. touch there for all right. the yeah. with dogs. <laughs> yeah. And then also you got a hundred watt solar panel port on the outside. On the outside here. Um, and then our roof will always be solar prepped, so we'll have the port up there. For okay. you, uh, we have a two hundred watt solar panel, or you could upgrade and get two of those. Uh, making 400 watts of solar on the roof available. Okay, but as standard, it doesn't come with solar? No, sir. Okay, and then, so, what you guys are seeing here is standard. You can get upgrades, right? Absolutely. Okay, so what are the upgrades and, you know, how does that look? So standard, you'll have, um, going into standards, you'll have 400 amp hours of lithium batteries on this. Okay. You can upgrade and get 800 amp hours of lithium batteries. Okay. And if that's not enough for you, you can also option in a dual fuel generator, which will okay. run off of LP and gas. Okay, so we can show you guys that. We can't get behind this one, so we'll show you in one of the other ones. Yeah. There's like a, you know, a box there that slides out or something with that Absolutely. generator. Yes, okay, cool. So, and then who's doing the uh, lithium? Renergy. Renergy. So, so the whole system? Yes, sir. So okay. our batteries, the control panel, and our 3,000 watt inverter will all be through Renergy. Okay. And then what else do you get now with the, because uh, is this like a la carte or is this just one upgrade and it gives you all these things? So uh, mm -hmm. this a la carte. Right. The extreme package is one package. You upgrade to okay. that and you get all the things that you saw in the previous video and what you see behind us oh, okay. here. Um, so uh, extreme is giving us uh, what black rims you said black rims okay. off-road off tires two off inch lift okay um, another option that we have uh, we have available is a silver painted cap oh so, so the so the paint job and everything so could yeah be standard okay. this will be white oh okay um, but as you see here it's silver which was mm -hmm. an upgrade oh so this is an upgrade on this yes, one sir. okay yeah and by the way guys this is like brand new right this is the prototype this is the first ever i heard there's no even pictures out there no <laughs> no professional <laughs> pictures so done you're just going in on the deep end <laughs> yeah yeah, exactly. yeah okay i noticed there's a camera right here what's going is this so like got, surround sound we oh, got side view cameras oh side, side view cameras okay and a backup monitor as well oh, okay um, what's great about this ford transit chassis is it has a big eight inch dis uh display screen mm -hmm. on the inside with apple mm -hmm. carplay right android autoplay right but also what we provide is where your rear view mirror normally be 
uh, we put the monitor for the backup and side view camera, so that oh. way, if you have your directions up mm -hmm. on your monitor, mm -hmm. it's not gonna, it's not gonna, gonna take interfere. It away from you. So with that, you'll always see what's behind you then. Okay, Absolutely. which is really useful in you know something because this is a B plus, right? You guys know that this is a B plus, and you've got the box on here, so that gives you more visibility back there. Absolutely. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So let's keep going around. We can't go that way because we're packed in kind of tight here. Yeah. So what's down here? So this will be your 68 pound LP tank. Okay, so this is the LP in here. Now, if you if you do the the options that you were talking about, can you get rid of that altogether? No matter what, this, this is here. This will be uh, oh, okay. with the unit. All right, cool. And then I think we were doing like power outlets here. This is, uh, is that, this for the awning that's or, or the no, TV? That's where your TV hook yeah. will go. So okay, cool. inside we have a Samsung TV, a smart mm -hmm. TV. And if you just, if you want to bring it outside to camp, you okay. simply just unhatch it and latch it here. Um, and then you have your big Thule armless awning here to give you protection. Oh, underneath. okay. Okay, cool. What is this thing? That's your uh, oh, cable hook cable. up there. Okay, nice. All right, let's go back here. Um, yeah, your LP quick connect. Okay. So that way LP. it makes hooking up to your grill easy and accessible. All right. And then what's this? That's your furnace. Okay, furnace here. Okay, cool. Yep. And then uh, you guys will see why. But in the other one, this was like a big storage bay back here, That's right? It. So here we don't have that. You guys will see. You got you got a little bit of storage. You can put stuff. What would go in here? So, I mean, we have the hooks here for coats. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to put some folding chairs, if they're thin enough, they can fit in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, really, anything that you would want to bring yeah. into your camp. Yeah, like wet weather gear, exactly. stuff like that. Okay, cool. And what do we have as and we go on around? The back, we have your water connections, your black tank flush, okay. your exterior shower port, um, and then you'll see the backup camera up there as well. Yeah. What is this for? Is there some kind so of... So this is for the door latch. Oh, so I see. Here you have this exterior door. Yeah. And you just will simply latch into there. Oh, so cool. that way the wind is not yeah. blowing against your coat. Right. Nice. Okay. And then you cool. got the nice screen port, uh, screen door here. Yeah. Um, and then going into the so back this of the is, coach. So this so is, so on the, once again, <laughs> this floor plan, there's a back door. Let me just show folks real quick here just to be thorough. So you do have a spray port here. Yes. Right? Absolutely. So there's a spray port here on this side, and then I put this back in. I like this. Okay, let's go. And I also want to point out real quick, 4,000 uh, pound uh, towing hitch on the... On okay, our, on so 4,000 pounds? Chances. Okay, yes. cool. So you can still tow something behind you here if you want to. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then this is all your hookups, right? Like uh, city water, fresh water, I'm assuming. Black tank flush. Black tank, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Okay. And... Uh, Yep. And then you get all this, you got the storage here with the bunk beds. Uh, this is the great part about oh, this. Oh, right, okay. This new floor plan of ours is you have two bunks there that mm -hmm. will fold up into the wall, almost into like a Murphy bed situation. Yeah. You could put electric bikes, any, uh, any out While you're traveling. outdoor gear, tie it down. And yeah. Right there you're good at to your go. ease. So a little bit of a toy hauler. We'll get into that more when we actually go inside here. But yeah, I like this idea. It's completely different. You know, obviously it wouldn't be for everyone necessarily, but I see you've got like, not D, what do they call these rings? Not D rings really, because... D rings, I Yeah, they're kind of a different shape, but you got some tie-down stuff here as well, so really cool. And then on this side here, you also got the bunk windows. It's going to be tight to see because of this play we're in, but... Right. <laughs> you got bunk windows back there. Oh, yeah. So okay, cool. Really great for, you know, top or bottom. Yeah. I'm not feeling so dark and cave-like. Yeah, and then you've got your electrical connection yep. is back here. And your battery tray will be up there along that side. Right. And uh, if you option in the generator, it'll be up there. Yeah, so... You, sorry, the generator will mm -hmm. also be, if you don't get it, it'll prep for it as well. Yeah, so just to show you guys here on this one as we're walking through. So just imagine this is that one over here. It'll be pretty much the same kind of setup yep. right here, right? So yeah, here would be your battery your here. Yeah. And then you got your generator will go there. Yeah, cool. You can generator here. Yeah, and yeah. this is this is here. this one right now. This is on that 20 inch extreme yeah. that was behind us. Yeah. This has the dual 400 amp hour lithium battery, so this one has 800 amp hours of lithium capabilities. Yeah. yeah. So that would be all in this tray, or would that t some of that take up the? So There's just right two there. batteries right there. So I could go tray. even bigger if I take up this one, Nick. <laughs> Right well, it's, it, depending on our inverter <laughs> capabilities, yeah. Right. I can have all the batteries. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So the cool thing about this, two doors. Yep. Two ways in. So I'll go in. 
my first thought coming in the door here, I really like this big open space over here to the it's left. Great, yeah, it? yeah. So, I like it. I really like that idea because I was like, oh wait, there's sofas and there's a big space there that I could set up as an office or storage, like you said. Absolutely. And what we're really excited about at Coachman Cross Trail that we're first time ever using in this coach is the Technoform cabinets straight okay. from Italy. These come over in Oh, from interesting. Italy. Okay. So um, how do these work? So there's oh, a little latch right below yeah. it. They'll go up. Nice. We had the hard angle on them to get yeah. more of a. Uh, B van look, yeah, modern, modern yeah. European look. Um, I like that. And then we also got the auto motion shades here, um, the day night availabilities, right. and they take away the rattling that you'll hear going yeah. down the road. A lot of times, you know, shades will hang mm -hmm. and rattle the whole time you're driving. These are so quiet going oh, down cool. the road. Oh, cool. Yeah, and a lot of windows. You know what? I do really like this. I like the look and everything. One of the things I would say as well, I know you guys are messing around with all of this. Just my thought. It would be awesome to see some bags. You know, you've seen those soft-sided cases. That would be cool here as well for someone who's more sporty, yeah. outdoors and all that. But I think this does, like you said, this has a completely like different look from anything I've seen. Exactly, so, yeah, right? I, I do like that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's let's start here and then kind of work our way back. Um, so up front, Nick, any... I know you were saying there was, oh, I can see the, uh, the actually the monitor. Yep. So is that the only change that you guys have done to the chassis up front? Yeah, really. I mean, this, so this chassis has adaptive cruise control, lane assist, mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned outside, uh, yeah. uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Yeah, Play. I think the, uh, the, what are the lights? They look like the, the Oh the yeah, halogen. those new lights are LED, yeah. halogen lines. Yeah, they they're, look good. They're really <laughs> sharp. When you, yeah. when you turn them on, it looks like a whole new beast of a chassis. Yeah. So on the chassis side of it, is this a 23 chassis? It is. Okay. It's the brand new Ford Transit 2023 chassis mm -hmm. with the upgraded headlights out there. It oh, looks cool. really sharp going down yeah. the road. Yeah. Um, so nice big screen. Really clean. Yeah. And all the Apple CarPlay and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm absolutely. sure that comes along with it. And so the only upgrade you guys did was the monitor, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is okay. this is as I mentioned, this is mm -hmm. where your side view and backup cameras will show up. Okay. So and that's all the time running so far as if you want to see what's behind absolutely. you. Absolutely. You can flip between channels and everything. Oh, sweet. What cameras we're looking at. Yeah. Can you record stuff? Uh, okay. Recording, I don't believe so. Okay. All right. That's probably something you'll have to add. All right. Very nice. So then, what's going on right here? So here you have uh, little storage pockets for mm -hmm. um, if you want to roll up a coat or mm -hmm. um, remotes go up there. Yeah. Umbrellas, like, which umbrellas we'll probably need Maggie. today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's coming. Yeah. Um, right. And they have your Samsung Smart uh, TV that, as I mentioned, simply will lift up, walk Take outside, outside. with, and put it in. Oh, cool. Does it go anywhere else in here? So, no, sir. Oh, no. okay. That would be that would be cool if I could like take it and move it over, make it like my monitor yeah, right. for for office or something like that. Exactly. Okay, very nice. So you got two of these, and then we'll just take a look at the cabinets here because I know people want to look at every single cabinet and see all the space, especially when it's the first time yeah, ever, right? <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, so lots of cabinets right here. Yeah, it's, you know, we're really excited about. Yeah, this look, product. I'm gonna get really crazy. And I just open all the cabinets. Technoform does a beautiful job. Yeah. I mean, look at these really aggressive yeah, latches. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, this was not. This was not. Um, we didn't see this obviously, so I, I like this is a good improvement. Um, and then even over here, you got more yeah, more really, cabinetry. Those are here. soft close as well. Oh, okay. So just there you go, and it'll just close itself. Now I'll close the cabinets, Lola. <laughs> So I don't knock my head on any of the cabinets, <laughs> but you guys have uh, seen it, and they're all soft closed, which is nice. So let's go back here. There's a nice little table here with storage in it. Absolutely. This is very living room feely. I like this. Um, do the chairs turn around this way? So standard on a transit chassis, both chairs will turn. Okay. Um, it's simply just a matter of what's there that you don't want to be knocking, yeah. knocking yourself against any. Uh, obstacles and then if you turn here obviously you don't you won't have sitting down here access to this table but i like the fact that it's here one of the things i think about the cross trail that i like is you could do upgrades absolutely you know and i think there's some room here to you know be inventive and do some stuff but this is a this is a nice cabinet so going back here we got these two opposing benches what's happening here so Nick? what's great here is not only are these sofas for sitting and mm -hmm. enjoying they're also a sleeping area, so they'll jack knife down. 
Oh. And then you have your full sleeping area right oh. here. There was a button here. I was thinking I pressed the button and then you know, it does that. That's going to be... Only when you're here. That's going to be for your tables. Oh. So you're going to have some oh. uh, Laguna tables here. Oh, so they but, pop in here. Yeah, but this yeah. will break down into no, that's cool. a bed. Oh, okay. So this... So we can uh, seat four in here because I'm seeing seat belts. Yeah, so okay. the, the sofa itself mm -hmm. will have three seat belts. Simply, and the reason why there's not a fourth is simply because our uh, inverter and our battery systems are under there, underneath one okay. of the seats. Oh, so this so, sofa can seat three. Yes. Okay, and so you can ha you can actually seat five in here going down the road, Absolutely. buckled. Buckled. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and this is cool as well. So you said you have some tables. They just pop in yep. into some these. Yep. Okay. tables that mm -hmm. will pop into those. And so yeah, this is yeah, this is cool. This, this will is be a, the main sleeping area, as we'd say. Oh, I see. So this is the the main bedroom here, and it's pretty good size. Yeah, I like that. And I also like that there's these big windows right here because you can open them and get yeah, cross absolutely. ventilation and all that. Very cool. Okay, I'm pressing the button, Nick, so you can <laughs> put it up. <Yep>. So using <laughs> no, it's easy like, enough. Yeah, yeah. I like the scissor, uh, the scissor here. Okay, so you've got some of the Renogy system in under here because under obviously, here, yep. like we were looking outside, that's where it would be. Yeah. What's under this one? Uh, nothing's going to be underneath that one. Oh, okay, cool. Definitely some stuff can be found to go under there. <laughs> So, yeah. All right. So we'll go back here a little bit. Oh, we've well, we've got control panel yeah, stuff. Yeah. So here. this so is where your looking? energy control panel is. Okay. So this will tell you where what percentage of batteries are at, hours of runtime. It will even give you how many amps you're getting in mm -hmm. with the solar, um, and all or watts that you're getting in with the solar. Okay. And really, it's just it's the brains of the whole system right there. Okay. And it it verbalizes it to you in a rather understandable. Tone, so okay good so can I connect with my phone to this absolutely oh there you is, can there okay. is an app that's downloadable we actually mm -hmm. recommend it and so does Renergy and mm -hmm. you can view your whole battery experience mm -hmm. yeah um, from your phone yeah I've got quite a few friends that have done the Renergy upgrade for batteries but also I've seen there's a lot of folks carrying Renergy out there absolutely. as well absolutely okay so uh, going back to Renergy over here this but is this just to shut the system on and off Correct. Okay, and then that's my emergency shut off there? Ex exactly. Okay, cool. Nice. And then I'm guessing that controls the fan? Absolutely. Or is that the, no, that's the so AC, this, right? Yeah, this is the 11.5 high efficiency 12 volt AC unit. Oh, okay. So that's controlled from that. It's a Dometic. And uh, so up here, is this manual? This yep, event? so this will be manual. Okay. So let's open up the skylight. Right. Okay. Um, we do have the availability for a cab over power vent. Oh, okay. okay. So you can do like a max fan or something yeah, if you want. Exactly. Okay, cool. Or or probably a, a dramatic fan. Absolutely. Okay. Nice. And so, so you know something real quick that mm -hmm. I think the customers you know would love uh, to hear is mm -hmm. these batteries. You know, with with two of the 400 amp hour lithium batteries, mm -hmm. we've tested it out at uh, Action Energy came and tested it out for mm -hmm. us. And with that, on a 98% duty cycle, both batteries were able to get nine hours of consistent runtime. Oh, cool! With the AC at full. Blow. Yeah. So, so if you're in Florida and it's real hot, you could just go all night exactly. like that. Okay, that's cool. Very nice. All right, so let's move. Let's move through this way. I see there's like a refrigerator over here, tall and skinny. Let's see if I can open. Oh, there we go. Check it out, Lola. And it's on. It feels like it is. I don't know. <laughs> I could be wrong. So you can get a lot of stuff in here. It's skinnier, taller, but you can still, it seems like, get a lot of stuff. You get a little freezer. Yeah, it's skinnier, going on here. It's skinnier yeah. for the appeal mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. being more in this smaller chassis, more the the van style look. Right. I'm um, going more European. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. And then we got induction cooktop on here as well. Right. So that's something that we're really excited about. Yeah, that's cool. So you've got two, two burners. Two burners. Very cool. Which, you know, for every, anyone that likes to cook, that's right. important. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, you definitely in here have the countertop space. That's also, I'm just going to move your your uh, pamphlets and stuff out of the way so folks can see the sink. Got a sink over here. Um, you know, and this is up high, I guess, so you can get like pots in yep. and all that. And then down here, it looks like we've got cabinets, more cabinetry. And you even drawers. got a sink cover as well down there. There you go. Nice. And you got larger wardrobe storage back here as well. Oh, okay. And the, again, these are all from Techno Forum. Yeah. And we're just, we're really excited to be uh, 
working with them as well. Yeah, that's cool. So you can use that for whatever you want, pantry. Yeah. Or if you want uh, to throw your clothes in there. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Let's take a look here at the microwave real quick. Yep, you got uh, a residential microwave. Okay. There you go. So this is not uh, convection or anything like that. Um, but that's always like a thing some someone could do uh, could add of, if they want to yeah. upgrade it. Yeah. Aftermarket. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very nice. So uh, let's see where are we going now, Lola. Bathroom. Well, oh, so we have we have a wet bath on this floor plan, All which right. is something that we don't do on any other cross trail floor plan. Mm -hmm. However, but you know the. To maximize yeah. sleeping capabilities and get right. the bunk beds back here, we want yeah, the so, wet bath. Yeah, so that's the trade-off. If you guys remember, on the what was it, the XG? The 20 XG. 20 XG had like the toilet and the shower opposing each opposing, other. Yeah. yeah. So that's really nice, you know. Yeah. So you sacrifice that a little bit here for the extra sleeping, which we'll show you guys. So uh, let's see. Should I get in there? You let's want see. to? Yeah, sure. Go I'll ahead. go in. I'll see. <laughs> Uh, there's a step up here. Here you go. Yeah, I'm in here. I'm 5'11". I'm in here. Here's the here's the thing. I'll sit down on the toilet. Okay, it feels like I could do my business. Little tiny sink though. Little Nick. tiny. <laughs> it's a little tiny sink. But uh, yeah, you've. This is probably very close to what you would see on a Class B van. Absolutely. And uh, people use that. You got toilet paper. Actually, I believe they use the same paper. exact mold and stuff. Yeah, so. exactly. So. Um, this has a black tank, right? So this is it a does. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So that's the medic, but it's going to a black tank. If you want to take a look, Lola. And all the specifications are online as well. Yeah. Okay. I, I got you roll. All right. Sweet. Already. Okay. So let's close it off. Uh, I'm about to. I don't know where the button here, where the button is here, Nick, for me to press. But I want to see the beds. <laughs> I want to press that button and see the beds come. Well, yeah. So first and foremost, underneath here we have an expandable ladder. Okay. Which will go for the uh, the bunks, but mm -hmm. you'll press your button and then instantly I'll pull this bed down and that's yeah. so you can have oh. hold down or you can kind of. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. Like I could have done easy. that, Nick. Very, right? <laughs> you don't even need your button. But, um, uh, you better come with my van. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so these have yeah. uh, 230 pound capa uh, max low capabilities. This is really um, cool. And then yeah, you simply just yeah. kind of touch and then it yeah. goes up. And if you've got some friends, kids, all that, like teenagers even, you know, yeah. uh, then, you can get them on here. And then underneath we figured, hey, let's put some more storage because that's, yeah. that's what we want to do with this pockets. cross trail line. Yeah. So what is this ladder for? So the ladder will be, you know, to get to the top bunk here. So. Oh, okay. Yep, we got that, and. Oh, I see. I'll even grab it out for you. Okay. So whoever is up there. Exactly. The, yeah, whoever gets dibs on the top bunk. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this. I was always the top bunk kid growing up. Oh really? So, oh yeah. Is that that's the coveted spot? That's the coveted okay. spot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you seem like you had that because you were bigger. <laughs> Than your siblings, right? Yeah, so, of course. So you beat them up, and then they had to go on the bottom. <laughs> it's a lot like prison. <laughs> yeah. So this ladder goes to really any height you like. Yeah, there you go. It goes in. Yeah, it goes in these. I can get the ladder. There you go. Yeah, and then you got your ladder. Oh, cool. All right. You know what I like about this? You can actually just do one. You can just do one. Yeah, and still and have can, storage under exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Your coolers or. Uh, right. Whatever you have down there, yeah. it's still going to be there. You can have yeah, your bicycles you... or whatever. Yeah, exactly. that's really cool. It's I kind like of this. like throwing the 20 XG concept mm -hmm. into the back of this, but also adding a second yeah. bed in case you need yeah, it. Yeah, but I, li I like the idea. So pretty much if we look at the 20 XG, it would be here, it would be all the storage yeah, for like yeah, this area be running in, in general. Back. Yeah, so you guys made some good use of this, I yeah. think. No, um, we're really excited about this floor plan. Yeah. Right? It's just... Yeah. We're thrilled about it. I like it. And you know, one of the things I noticed myself talk about, if we could put this back up for a yeah, second, um, I would always be thinking about how can I turn this space into like an office, you yeah, know, I, which you probably could do. You could figure out a way to have like a desk here and, yeah, I, you know. Even falling down from here, but it's yeah. funny that you mentioned that because just yesterday here at the show, mm -hmm. had a customer ask about, you know, what mm -hmm. kind of office capabilities do you do? Yeah. You can do whatever the, you want. At the plant, we, we won't, we don't have currently mm -hmm. any options to do that yeah. but after market i've seen people yeah. mix and match and create their own canvas yeah i could see like so for example you have the slats here which i think it's nice to have the slats yeah. 
on this, but you can always strap a monitor to the back of the slats. You know, I like a standing desk because to me that's a workout. Yeah? Yeah. That's about as much working out as I'm going to do. You're going to get your 10 hours. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, so you could, I really do like this space for all that. Even you have a hard wall here. I see there's a power plug right there, Lola, Absolutely. if you want to come Charge in and take phones. a look at that. Yeah, this, I like this use of the space. Uh, I'm curious to see what, you know, everyone here at the show says I don't let Lola talk enough. So here, Lola, <laughs> give me this. You can give your opinion. Uh, I like it. What about you? You know what? I, this was neat. I, I've been, I was in here doing B-roll and didn't realize what these two twin beds were doing and this is a pretty good use of space and I like the ladder because I would be the one needing the ladder. To get <laughs> yeah, up you there. need a bigger ladder than that um, to get up there, Lola. I also like the, the two sofas up front. Mm -hmm. uh, my only gripe would be that sink in the bathroom. I really like your sink <laughs> in the in the adventure one. The, yeah, the 20 XG. The XG. Yeah, the yeah. XG. I really like yeah. the sink in there. I went and did some B-roll and I just like the, the separate baths and everything. Yeah. If it's just Hank and I, that's all we need. So for us, I think that would be the one that I would be interested yeah. in. But for a family of three or four or going out with friends, this is perfect. Yeah, this very perfect outdoorsy space. people. Yeah. Here, when I jumped into it, I thought I, I would like this kind of a layout. And I think also very out, you know, we live in the country. I think a lot of folks who live out there with us and have kids and stuff like that would really like this because they can take their kids with them and not have a super cramped kind of feeling. You Absolutely. Know? You know, you've got limitations on how big the space is here. Yeah. But I think this is doing a lot with that. And then remember, this is all-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And you're getting yeah. 14 to 16 miles per gallon on this. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty good. Very cool. You know what? Do you want to wrap it up? I'll... Let's do it here. Let's do it here. First of all, man, you did a really good job. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Know. you. Yeah, yeah, Nate is out. <laughs> We're not doing no more videos. With... No, I'm just kidding. Nate is actually here. <laughs> I think Nate got like... He, he, he went up now. Yeah, right? Nate, so, Nate's yeah. now the general manager of uh, Prism and Cross Trail for Co Coachman, and well-deserved. Awesome. He's doing yeah, a fantastic he's a good guy. job. Absolutely. And he did a great job in the video that we did. So did you. Um, for people who are watching this uh, and they want to find out more about this, I know it's very new. What, what do those guys do where you guys have that info? So uh, I'm continually trying to update the website as much as possible. So mm -hmm. on CoachmanRV.com, mm -hmm. you'll go to the Cross Trail page and there you'll see I, the 20 BH specifications with you know tank sizes and everything, awning mm -hmm. sizes, everything you need to know number wise mm -hmm. yeah. um, will be on our page there. Okay. Uh, we even have some updated flyers and uh, working on some updated down, downloadable brochures as oh, cool. well. So okay. a lot happening, a lot of moving yeah. parts right now, but yeah. uh, going to try to get some more uh, more content and more um, information for everyone out there as much and as quickly as possible. Okay, great. Yeah, I would just say, you know, for the folks out there to be patient, I think this is a really nice progression that you guys have done. And what I'll do is I'll let you know when I get the video up, and if you have some time, you know, jump in and look at the comments and stuff Perfect. like that. Absolutely. And check it out. So that way we can get some stuff. Always to looking folks at faster. feedback, too. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so thanks very much, Nick. Thank you. Hey. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Oh, yes. Um, you know what, guys? I think this was really cool. Actually, someone who looked at the video that I did with Nate bought one, and then he's here at the show. He was checking it out, and he was like, listen, you need to go <laughs> check that out and do a video, so this one's for you. Um, you know, thanks for giving us the tip. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying our coverage from the 2023 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. Lola says I got it right. <laughs> We're out of here. Peace.